In this example, we'll construct a scatter plot for some data that we're given. We're given the sizes of several TVs and the price that goes along with each one. Now our data is separated into three categories just so that the table could fit easily here, but side by side you'll see a size and a price where the size is given in inches and the price is given in dollars. And we want to construct a scatter plot where we compare these two variables. Now when we construct a scatter plot, we have to pick which variable will be x and which one will be y. It's not crucial that we pick it in the right order because it turns out if they get switched, much of the analysis we can do is still the same. But if we can, it would be nice to pick x and y in a reasonable way. And usually we want to think about how x determines y. In other words, is there one of the variables that seems to control the other one? Would we say that the size determines the price of the TV? or would we say that the price determines the size? It's probably more likely that we would say that the price depends on the size or that the size determines the price. So we could call x the size and y the price. So let's say our x-axis represents size and our y-axis represents price. Again, we'll try to be consistent with these where the first column is x, the second column is y, but it turns out that if you switch the order, it doesn't change too much, at least at this point. So now we need to put a scale on each axis. So for the sizes, the sizes go up to about 60 inches. So let's make sure we include at least up to 60. Let's say we go up to 70 here. And if we start down at zero, that means we need to divide this evenly so that we get to 70. So halfway there would be 35. And then if we divide these by fives, Three, five, ten, and so on. Then the prices range from 200 to about 2,800. So let's say we include all the way up to 3,000. And let's mark it in increments of 500. Now for each value in our list, let's take the first one for instance. The size is 43 inches, the price is $500. So on the horizontal axis, the size axis, we'll go up to 43, which is around here between 40 and 45. And then on the price side, we'll be right at 500. So we wanna find out where those two cross, which is right around here. So our first point will be right there at 43 inches and $500. For the next one, we'll go to 55 and $900. So 55 is right here between 50 and 60. $900 is right here, right around under 1,000. So those two look like they cross right around here, which gives us our second point. And then we'll continue for the rest of them without showing each one in detail. I'll just show the final picture here in a moment uh, after we've drawn all these points. So there's the final result. And even though it's hand-drawn and imperfect, we can see the general trend, which is that larger TVs tend to cost more. So there's this general upward trend as you scan through this picture. And that's really the value of a scatter plot is to look for an association or a connection between two variables to see if there's a relationship. And this one looks like there's this upward trend. Later on, we'll talk about how to draw a line or some other curve that, that represents this uh, shape. But for now, just notice that there's that relationship between the two.